Kia ora, guys, gals, and legionnaires. Rikon here, and welcome back to Let's Roleplay Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, Bran's Tale. We are with Bran inside an office tower, which is no doubt surrounded by the dead. We're going to do our best to get away from here. We're going to be trying to make our way back on towards our lab down here. On the way back, though, I believe I would like to try and see if we can run past the grocery store up here just to get some more cart pieces so that we can start putting together our underbike of sorts so that we can travel through the subway system a little bit better. In the previous, we did spend a lot of time down in the tunnel system getting to know it a little bit better. Now, we're going to be hearing a lot of noises outside here and no doubt we'll actually be seeing a fair amount of the dead. We're going to try and make our way down the bottom here because the numbers that we're looking at down here should be a lot better and we're also going to go ahead and turn off our night vision as it is day outside now so this is where it could get really quite interesting because we're going to be dealing with some pretty pretty large numbers really so let's go get this thing started as we start to move through the children start to roam closer towards us now we have quite a few around us now our options are to stand and fight them and looking at the numbers that are here at the moment this is doable for us and it's probably going to be better for us to take care of them now rather than have them chase us down so we're going to hold our ground where we are at the moment ideally what we can try and do because we have ninjutsu we're a little bit faster moving around we get inside here we can use these bushes here just to slow them down that little bit more. We can see that the movement cost is 400 on those. So they're going to be moving really, really slowly when they're on top of that. Next thing that we want to do is go ahead and turn on our offensive defensive system. So we've got that rocking. And we're just going to go ahead and start slashing. Uh, we're going to try and see if we can take down that feral hunter first. Okay. A slash and it is dead. We're going to go for the child. The next child. There we go. We are making quick work here. Dog one, dog two. We're going to go ahead and turn off our offensive system there because I don't think we need it any longer. Wait and slash. Take down the hazmat zombies. Um, so obviously there are a lot that are above us right now because we're hearing all kinds of thumps. Thumps and wumps for days. We're going to go ahead and ignore those and we're just going to smash all the bodies we can around us. Okay, and ignore. Alright, now let's get that stamina back. Looking at 5,000 power, that's okay. And we'll go ahead and start roaming out here. We'll have a quick look at the zombies just to see if they have anything in particular on them that could be of good use. There's some crack. We're going to avoid the crack for now. And we'll carry on our way. Take down you. We'll see if we can smash your corpse in time. We can. And as for the big boy over there, we're going to go ahead and give him a shot. And it is going to be a lowercase y. Yes, it is. Precise shot. Ignore. Okay, we're going to go do one more. There we go. Nicely done. Okay. Uh, you're smashed. We need to smash these others. Okay. We've got a poison boy. Precise shot wasn't quite enough. We're going to go ahead and back up a little bit further. Here we go. And you know what? Because it's day now, we're going to go ahead and put the uh, survivor mask back on. Uh, and we want to be wearing it. There we go. So that is going to be encumbering our mouth a little bit. So it's going to make it so that we, uh, you know, require a little bit more stamina when we're moving about. But we should be fine. We are running at the moment, so let's stop doing that at the very least. Okay, hey, we got ourselves a zombie military pilot. That's new. Well, hey, bud. Where'd you come from? A down chopper of some kind, I'm assuming. All right, well, let's go ahead and turn safe mode off. We're not going to need that. A good one, two, three is enough to do it. And you have a military ID card. I like that a lot. Fantastic. Um, you know what? We're probably going to go ahead and dissect you as well, just because there is a chance that you might have some interesting things inside you. We won't know until we try, will we? Scarred zombie is approaching. Ignore. Attack on the scarred zombie. Yeah, sure, fine. That is a scarred zombie down. We'll go ahead and continue our dissection. Boom, approaching. Come on, give me a break. Okay, we've got a lot more coming for us now. Uh, a pit bull mix. 
apparently. It's heading our way now. Um, we should be fine to just slash this guy because of our mask. Yeah, we're good. We'll go ahead and smash you. We're going to smash the zombie pilot. Ignore. All right, let's just hold our ground. Take some deep breaths as we have the zombies roaming towards us across the field. Go in a little closer for this. Now these are regulars, so we should be able to very quickly make our way through them. Just like so. And we're going to go ahead and smash all of their remains here to make sure there's no chance of them coming back. There we go. We cleared up a whole heap of them. Let's have a look and see if we can pick out anything interesting. There's a Glock there. Okay. Noted. I think we're just going to go ahead and move on our chosen path. Okay, we've got a zombie brute, Z9, and a few others. Okay, all right. Um, are they going to head this way? Yes, they are. They're all heading this way now. Okay, well, we'll hold out here. It's nice and open. Gives us a lot of sight. We can see what's going on. We've got a decent amount of power at the moment, so I'm not so afraid to activate some of our CBMs here. We're going to go activate not directional EMP, Rather, we're going to turn on our kinetic shock absorbers, so we should be good to take a, a fair whack here. But he didn't even get a chance. With a quick one-two, the brute is downed. Now we do have a shrieker, which is going to cause us a little bit of strife, because now everything in the surrounding area is going to know about us. And uh, would you look at that? We're seeing a whole heap of activity down here now as what looks to be part of a horde starts to roam over in our direction. How long are we going to stay here for? Well, that remains to be seen. Actually, that, that group isn't coming towards us yet, but they will. You give them enough time, they will make their way towards us. They're chasing something else right now. There's a feral predator around here, which I'm not super happy about. So it seems you've got like three groups that are coming towards us right now. You're going to be trouble for us, and I don't like that. But there's not much I can do about it, because we're going to get poisoned regardless. Okay, we're grabbed. Let's not be grabbed. And I do not like the bleeding, so let's go ahead and stop that. We're going to go ahead and use some of our power there. Stitch back up our torso. The bleeding has stopped. Repair nanobites are just fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and use blood filtration. I know last time it didn't work. Okay, so the blood filtration actually gives us a huge amount of pain for a moment or two. But then I think, no, it doesn't get rid of the poisoned state. So that stays no matter what, which is frustrating. But Oh well, that is what it is. Yeah, we're going to get knocked back. Thankfully we didn't take any damage then because of our kinetic shock absorbers. Alright, take you down first. There we go. Okay, we're making some headway here. Slowly but surely getting through them all. Last of the roamers making their way in. Okay, and we definitely don't want this this group to come back. We've taken, we've rather, we've made the effort to take them down, so we'll make sure that sticks. Okay. Who else do we have heading down? Just another tough zombie. Okay, we got more of them coming back now. It looks like they're chasing something there. They could be chasing the pit bull, actually. Yes, they are. Oh, he's severely injured. Poor bugger. Don't think he's going to make it. But we are. So we're just going to hold ourselves here. Going to keep on piling up this group. Just wait for them to arrive. The snapper, I want to die pretty quickly. Just because uh, bleeding's not so fun. quickly as we do. Slashing through pretty decent numbers here. So we've got three left. Again, I want to try and smash them. I'm going to see if we can get away with it while we're here. We've got a zombie master. <laughs> okay. Uh, things are going to get interesting. All right. So they seem to be just continuing to arrive in pretty decent numbers here. That zombie master, we need to kill. Otherwise, we're going to be dealing with some hulks before long. So let's see if we can track down the zombie master. Um, I do not see him. Where, oh, where are you zombie master? 
you are all the way down there. Okay, so you're quite a ways away. Let's try that again. Yeah, he's actually, it's outside of our range. Okay, well, oh, that's going to be uh, more than a little dangerous. So I think what we might try and do is rush for him. So we're going to start moving through the bodies. We're running as fast as we can here. We're going to start moving towards that master. And we'll quick, one, two, three. We have him down. The offensive defensive system is turned on and we're going to start slashing. We can see that all three around us then we've just shocked. Here we go. All right, we can't see. Looks like there's a map there though. Okay. Give it a moment or two. We can see. A zombie brute. Fantastic. What do we have going on to the south of us? This is probably where they've come from, all these houses down here. Okay, we're a little hungry. You know what, let's have something to eat. <laughs> um, Stafford Trail Guide. So this is going to show, like, that's that's very new. Fantastic. I will definitely take it. A Swift Army Knife. Nice. Okay, yeah, but the uh, Zombie Master definitely want you dead. Go ahead, start smashing all these bodies around here. Make sure that everyone's going to be thoroughly pulped. And move over to these ones here. Make sure that we're finishing them off. This zombie brute, no doubt, will come over and pay us some attention in a moment or two. Most of these bodies have been dealt with now, though. Okay. Woo. Now, that was a fair bit of work for us. We're feeling tired after that, rightfully so. Let's have a quick look here. First aid kits. Okay. Bag of pretzels. Okay. I think we're good. Hmm. Yeah, nothing to write home about. That's okay. All right, well, let's have some deep breaths before we start moving. And we're going to stop running at this stage and just start making our way across this field. Now, there is the remains of that dog just hanging out over there. But yeah, from here, essentially, we want to go pretty much straight across. Let's go to the north of the Fena camp, though, just because um, it's going to be a little bit better for us. All the while, trying to be mindful of mines. And, hello, what do we have over here? Is it a crash site? Oh, wow. What in the hell happened there? Is that a helicopter? I think it might be a downed helicopter. Um, they might have done stuff actually for it now. So that's going to be cool to go and have a look at. Um, right, we've got a shrieker. So the shrieker's going to make a whole heap of noise and cause some fun times for us. Now that feral hunter. Smash, smash. Let's see what you got. Nothing. Okay, deep breaths. All right, we're tired at the stage. Um, we have nothing to read. Oh, did I not pick up the trail guide? Apparently we can't. Oh, let's activate it. We add trails and trail heads to your map. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know what trails we would have added, but um, I said it was for Stafford, right? This is Stafford here? Stafford's down here, right, okay. We'll reveal quite a bit of the map now, haven't we? It's just so much to it. All right, staying moving. Onwards we go. And a zombie soldier, which we would expect to see around here. And we're seeing the military pilot as well. Let's see if we can attract them away from the dog. Okay, wasn't too difficult for us to take care of that one. <laughs> Those two are very much interested in that. We'll take the MRE, and let's see, is it a helicopter? Um, yeah, an Osprey wreckage. Okay. Awesome. I mean, it looks, it looks really, really cool. Um, I like it a lot. Take the shady one down. We've got a regular zombie coming over towards us. I can't see anything else immediately around here that I'm going to want to try and grab. Yeah, so I think we're okay there. 
Okay. Yep. Moving up. We've got some remains over here. Killed a long while back. What? Oh, a chihuahua. I was like, what the hell is that? It's just a chihuahua. Just more, more dog types. Got a regular zombie here. Alright, zombie brute. Let's go ahead and uh, make this a little harder for you. Kinetic shock absorb the kinetic shock absorbers. There we go, got it out in the end, and we're okay. Look at that, huh? I I really don't like the bloated zombies at the moment, just because um we have a hard time with them. Uh right, finger. Oh no, we run out of power. Oh crap, what did I leave on? Was the offensive defensive system on for a really long period of time? This is not good. The Leukotite uh, breeder system will be down. Uh, we need to very quickly turn on our metabolic interchange. Uh, to everyone that was like screaming at me about the power, thank you. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I did not notice it. Uh, we're just going to try and get away because this thing is going to blow up. So unfortunately, we're going to lose a fair bit of our speed here moving through this. I'm trying to avoid as much as I can any kind of long grass as I'm moving through here. We're up to 300 power. That should be fine. I should be able to take a shot now. There we go. That's, uh, that was frightening. Damn. Um, I, I, I screwed up there. I must have left something on that should not have been on. What could it have been? It could have just been the offensive defense system. I might I might not have realized I'd left it on. For something to draw our power as quickly as it did, probably would have been that. Yikes. Watch out for that. Uh, thankfully, I don't think we started to take, like, any of the major negative effects of us running out of power there. Yeah. Jeez. Okay. Okay, we got lucky. Um, okay, alright. Some batteries there, we could eat them. It's going to be pretty minor though for the most part, so... I'm not going to stress about it. Let's just move down to these bodies. And just deal with them. Let our power keep just building up. Okay. Deep breaths. Thousand power, that's good. Alright, let's go ahead and put on the ratchet as well. Yeah, it's gonna sap some of our stamina, but it's not too much. We should be okay here. Oh, hello, Feral Hunter. We did not see you. I knew you were around, I just didn't know you were that close. Okay, so from here, I essentially want to try and travel up until we get into the kind of forest region and then start taking a little bit of a detour down. We can use the main road as well. I'm trying to stay slightly aware of our stamina situation here as well. We have cleared a fair bit of this area. Is this a minefield? Beautiful lot with some natural privacy. Oh, okay, it's it's to be sold. It's an empty residential lot. Oh, okay. I'm just used to signs usually being a very, very bad thing. Okay, I think time to get this off for now. Uh, let's have a look at the cable charging system. Uh, we don't have any jumper leads. We need jumper leads to be able to do that. I should always have some with us. I've just gotten used to having a lot of power. Uh, speaking of having a lot of power, there is a skeletal juggernaut that is not too far away. Which, at this stage, I would rather not fight if we can avoid it. <laughs> so we're going to attempt to do that. We're going to see if we can get around this bad boy. Alright, we're starting to get some of our stamina back, and we've seen a shock, a brute. Awesome. So let's go ahead and dive inside of here. We're going to try and lose both the shock, a brute, and the skeletal juggernaut at the same time. Look at us go. Uh, great, we cannot go out that way, so let's just poke our head out. We're seeing 
the shocker is down there. Okay, so shocker can definitely see us. We've spotted a corrosive zombie as well. Let's just start making our way over here. We're going to take a quick eating break. Corrosive zombie is going to try and spit some stuff at us. He hits perfectly because that's how corrosive zombies are. <laughs> Luckily, corrosive zombies, they don't seem to hit too hard though. So even though they've got laser accuracy, but um, they completely bypass armor. I, I hate them so much. <laughs> I hate them with a violent passion. Okay. We're getting there. Not too much further for us to go. Death to all corrosive zombies. Okay, so we have the shocker brute who is making his way over towards us now. We're gonna need to do something about that. Um, crap. He is gonna catch us. There's no two ways about that. So we're gonna go ahead and sheath that broadsword really quick. We're gonna go ahead and activate the harness. And yes, we're gonna be making noise here, but um, sometimes you gotta make noise to survive against boys. I, I don't know. That wasn't a rhyme. There we go. 30 damage. That's a start. We're still at 91 steadiness. We fire again. Um, we, we miss. I think we miss. Okay. All right. We hit again. We're going to get shot real soon. And there we go. We have been zapped. Okay. No stopping it. It's happened and we need to reload. So what are we going to be doing? Well, we're going to be firing this thing at him as best we can. One damage. Amazing. Okay, can we improve our chances here? That's a little bit better. Let's try again. Go for the critical. Okay, we're using a fair bit of power. Knocking this thing. We just want it dead. Come on, headshot. That's good. Another headshot. Come on. Here we go. Just before he reaches us. Okay, let's ignore. We're going to start reloading. Uh... Ignore. It's only if it's approaching will we do that. And, uh, you know, I, I want this thing to die. Um, so we're going to shoot it. Uh, I would love to be able to butcher this body as well. We'll see if we can get there or not. This thing is just going to hit us right in the chest, isn't it? Um, heard wonk. Stop aiming. Ignore the wonk. Great. So we had a pretty good steadiness there, but we still missed. That's fine. We're playing with XCOM rules here. Okay. 92, good hit. This thing is going down. One more fire. Uh, there's a grazing hit. One more fire. Let's get it up into the 90s. Okay, one more hit. Get it back up into the 90s. And there we go. Okay, finish reloading this thing. We're going to have some closing in on us very, very soon. So we're going to want to try and take that body and get away from here. But I really want to quick butcher this body if I can. So let's go ahead and activate the holster. Activate the sheath. Just so we've got something in our hands, and we're going to go quick butcher the sucker. Five minutes done. He is quick butchered. We're going to go grab this body. Store that in our scabbard, and we're going to start running over towards this house. Uh, which, apparently, there's a lot of activity. Hello. Hello, friend. We're going to go here, drop you on the ground, activate our sheath. No. What is going on downstairs? Okay, let's get our stamina back first, and then we're going to go investigate and see what the hell is going on down there, because um, someone's having a party, and we have not been invited. Okay. Okay, let's see what all the fuss is about. I see, it's a tough zombie. Okay, alright. Enough fuss. It's time to catch the bus. You got another? Okay, let's go ahead, activate some night vision here, see what we've got going on. It's just this lot here. So we're going to go ahead and smash you, you, and you. Ignore the footsteps. Let's see if there's anyone chilling upstairs. Doesn't look like it. We're going to grab our body. Store that in our scabbard. And we're going to haul him downstairs. We're going to go and drop you on the ground. Take a bit of a breather. Well earned. Now let's go ahead and have some cooked meat. Um, our metabolic interchange is still turned on right now, so we are still gaining power through us eating our food. We're having to eat a whole heap of it though. We've got too much of it. We're... This is really the best way for us to use it right now because, uh... It's gonna go off in 12 hours, so... I would want to get the most out of it that we can. And so far, we seem to be doing that. Okay, uh... One more lot. I wanna get to 5,000. There we go. Let's turn that interchange off. Oh man, okay. 
All right, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. We're doing fine. Now you, I want to go ahead and dissect you. Ignore the noises. And just like that, we succeed and we found a targeting system. Okay. I'll bite. Let's see, what are you going to do for us? Power storage, that's always good. And a targeting system. Your eyes are equipped with rangefinders, and their movement is synced with that of your arms to a degree. Shots you fire will be much more accurate, particularly at long range. Oh, yes, please. That sounds like it might just be a passive as well. That is going to be oh so good. All right, we're thirsty. We've got some stout there. We can maybe uh, get a little bit of our quench on. Yep, I'm feeling a little lightheaded. All right, heading out the door. Little fire truck there. Moving on over, and let's uh, go ahead and activate that scabbard. Get that sword back out as we start roaming along. You can try to run. Okay, this is what we're after. Just up here. Uh, actually, it should be this one here. Great. All right, this is where all the fun is. Okay, all right, so what we're gonna do now at this stage is we're going to activate the folded foldertron. We now have the folded foldertron in front of us, and we want to go ahead and break down the vehicles that are here. So we want to go to you, examine vehicle, and we're gonna start off by removing the basket, and then we're gonna remove the frame. Boom, vehicle destroyed, just like that. And we're going to do the same thing here. Yes, these are damaged, but we can always fix that in the future. We're feeling tired. No, we are dead tired, so we're going to need to have a rest before we actually leave here. All in good time. All right. Now, this lot here, we want to go ahead and drag and put into the vehicle. So, moving you over in this direction here. We should be able to fit that all in there. A-okay. It uh, doesn't look like we did or we did and yep good fantastic we spotted a smoker that's all right we'll grab you oh hang on we'll grab you grab the foldertron rock inside the store uh we, we want to close up shop oh you're down there i see i see how it is all right fine we should deal with the smoker before he makes too much noise climb that fence and we're going to have to take some smoke here. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Cool. We cough heavily. Alright then. Get inside. Move down towards the back rooms. Well, I mean ideally we'd break this down first just so it's done. Let's do that. Looking at you, examined vehicle. We want to go remove. Don't worry, Bran. We'll be getting you to sleep before you know it. There we go. Locked and loaded. All right, so it's not the most comfortable setting in the world. <laughs> it could be a lot better than this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and have some of that crackling. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to purify this water. Let's see, can we make clean water on the go? Yeah, we need to have something we can actually boil it in. Uh, we'll have a quick look around here. We've got paper wrappers. We cannot use paper wrappers to boil in. Uh, we've got a bottle. Not going to be able to boil in that. That's just hydrogen peroxide and that's salt water. All things we can't drink. Oh well, what can you do? Uh, I'm being dumb though. Classic maneuver here. We have, oh no, these are just ATMs, not vending machines. Bummer. The door is locked. Hmm. Not for long, not if I have anything to say about it. Let's see if we can pry this thing open. Pry. We cannot get su sufficient leverage. So we've had this on some doors so far. Hmm. We could just smash this thing down. Uh, it, it's just going to lead us into the back room here. Hmm. I don't like that. Oh, well, we need to sleep. So let's go ahead and do that. And what's nice is that we can't actually move past our cart. So it is creating like a natural kind of blocking point here. Okay, let's try to get some sleep. 
time is rolling on by as we attempt to make it through. Okay, so I didn't actually realize we were tossing and turning. I was sure that we'd actually managed to, but uh, it's not easy to sleep on the floor. <laughs> we're having a hard time doing it. Um, what we can do to help it is dampen sound, and that should make it a little easier. There won't be as much noise around us here. We toss and turn. We find it a little hard to sleep on the <laughs> on the yeah on the tiles. Time is passing. Yeah, no, we're we're just tossing and turning. Okay, so ain't gonna happen. We're gonna have to go somewhere else. And that is completely fine by me. I just wish I had noticed sooner, Bran. Let's go get you into something that's gonna be a little bit more comfortable. It'll be easy enough for us to do. Okay, let's see if we have any joy with this one. Pry crate window or door. Yeah, we just do not get the same leverage that we used to. Insufficient. What about windows? Yeah, it can't it can't open anything. I think it it can open uh That sucks. So I think it can just open crates, and that's it. Hmm. So we're going to need to start carrying around some kind of pry tool with us. Um, which I'm completely fine with. But uh, I'm thinking that must have been a pretty recent change. It is what it is. We could sleep in a vehicle, but I don't really feel like that. Look at this little train we're creating here. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit more on the dangerous side. No, we don't want to step into the jagged window. I'd just like to bring the cart down a little bit further. Cut off a little bit of, um, rather restrict it. We could just try and sleep in one of the armchairs here. It wouldn't be comfortable. It'd be better than sleeping by an open window. Uh, right. The meat has gone rotten. Damn. The chances of it happening were always there. It's finally struck us. Um... That's going to last for a little bit longer. We're very hungry, very thirsty. We do need to get back with what we've got. But we're going to go ahead and attempt to sleep now. And we fall asleep. So, we just need something comfortable enough to sleep in. I've slept in bathtubs before in this. Just sleeping on the floor, a little bit too hard for us to do. I think we might have been eventually able to do it. The reason why I was trying to do it was just because we're dead tired. Generally, when you're dead tired, you can sleep almost anywhere. But, uh, yeah, in this instance... Didn't work out for us. That's all right. I think this is going to be a very, very long sleep, though. Still, all right, just down to tired. But dehydrated isn't so fun. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a quick look in the kitchen to see if we can find ourselves a pot. Uh, so we've, we've, we wake up tired. Okay. Aches are fading. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see. We've got a teapot. That's good. The frying pan is going to be better for us overall. Oh, I was I was concerned. I was like, why is our volume so low? Like at the carrying volume. It's okay. It's a okay. Have another thing of caffeinated chewing gum. Try and give us a little bit of a hit. Instant salad. We're not going to worry about that either. Uh, but we're going to go to a bathroom. Just to see if we can pick ourselves up some goodness. And you know what? While we're here, let's grab some duct tape. Done. Okay, what's the drink up here? Firefighter zombie? Hello, you're going to want to come and say hello, aren't you? Let's have you. Head on over this way then if you want, buddy. There we go. Alright, where's the bathroom? Down here. Uh, actually, we're going to need some light here, so we'll utilize it, and let's go ahead and make ourselves some clean water. We can make a whole heap. Uh, we're going to have to make a whole heap here. Let's go make 12. Uh, we don't have anything to store the water in. Okay, we'll just go for that. We'll put it straight into the canteen. Uh, we'll actually just consume it up until the point where we're not thirsty anymore. Do it. 
All right, and we're going to do that one more time, except this time pouring it into our canteen. Excellent, great. So we've got our cracklings, we can still eat those. All right, did a little bit for us. We have the salad, which we can go ahead and do something with on the go. Food, insta salad. The salad is instantly there, and it's, uh, it's okay. All right. Let's start roaming back. We have what we need. We just need to get back home now. We have the Foldertron in hand. We're on our way back towards our home. Hopefully not getting stopped by anything too severe. But hello, friend. Let's go see if we can deal with you. We're going to turn on our... I keep forgetting where it is. Kinetic shock absorbers. There they are. It's on R. Okay. One, two, three. And our melee skill actually just jumped up to six. Fantastic. So we are still learning. We're getting better. Go ahead and grab you again. All right. We got a giant rattlesnake and a swimmer zombie. Who is not going to be able to catch up to us. That giant rattlesnake is... And... We can get some meat from you, so why the heck not? We go ahead and absolutely obliterate that giant rattlesnake. Uh, how heavy is your corpse? Very heavy. I don't think I can even fit you in the cart. Now, if we quarter you, that could help us out a little bit here. So we could field dress it, I think. Yep. Remove all the bits and pieces. Um, and then let's go ahead and quarter the corpse. Ignore the footsteps for now. All right, let's have a look. We've still got a little bit of space in here. Bone, sinew, bruised quarter. Okay. Oh no, we can fit it all in there. Just have a bit of a breather. Okay. Let's bring this thing back home so that we can get the most out of it. Uh, right, it's going to be straight across this way. Heading down. What have we spotted? Shady zombie? Okay. Uh, Skeletal Juggernaut, where are you? <laughs> Let's not say hello. Alright, you're down there. Let's start going up this way. No need to fight you. Okay, you're still down that way. You can't see us anymore. Let's just go through the forest. That sounds like a much safer and nicer way for us to travel. Much more enjoyable for Bran. Whole heap of water up in that direction. Nice big pool. Okay, close to home now. Safe mode's on, so we're good to roam. Let's start turning down here. And so with our cart, we're going to have to essentially empty it on each level. So it's a little bit of a process, but it'll be worth it. For all the goodies we get to take. Okay, so, alright, let's do this thing. Um, it's going to be a little tedious, so, you know what? I think this is the kind of thing where you probably aren't going to want to watch this. We're going to go ahead and fold that, so everything should be dropped on the ground now at this stage. Uh, picking up everything is not going to be super easy. We'll go ahead, take the Foldertron. Uh, I don't think we can drag things. If we can haul things between... We stop hauling items. Yeah, okay. I was like, if we could haul between levels, that would be a massive, massive uh, help. But, uh, you know, so unfortunately we're going to just have to go through uh, bringing these things through one at a time. So it is going to be a little tedious um, going down all the sets. But I'll get there. I will get there. We're going to go ahead and store that in our scabbard. And essentially what I'm going to be doing is this, just moving down here and we're going to go ahead and drop these things on the ground. Um, activating the folded Foldertron first. Um, having it on the stairs though, that's probably not the best move. Yeah. It's going to take a little bit. So we'll go ahead and just start dropping off everything into there. Uh, I can probably drop off some other things that are in, a, in our inventory to make it a little easier for us to carry things between the stages here. But we'll just take everything we can. So, guys and gals, I will see you back in a moment. Okay, we have made it back home. So, 
we're sorting out everything that we've been able to find while we've been here. Uh, we're going to go ahead, first of all, we're going to deal with the meat. So, let's see, you should be tucked away down here, I believe. Now, let's see, where are you going to be stashed at this stage? Uh, so it, it is a quarter. Uh, and it was what it was giant rattlesnake. It was a snake of some kind. We know that much. Um, oh, actually, good question. Where is it going to be? Well, we've got two of them in our inventory right now. So I'm going to go ahead and drop them off. Uh, we're going to drop a few other things. That, the first aid kit. Uh, we don't need to have three inhalers. Uh, the one that we have at the moment is fine. We want to keep one 100 in our inventory. So we'll go ahead and drop the rest of that stuff off. Uh, but good question will be, where are the... Where are our other quartered giant rattlesnake carcasses? So if we're having a look all around, and if we search for rattle, there we go. So that is to the south. Fantastic. So we'll go ahead and just change this over to be our inventory. And we'll take those two. Dropping them onto the butcher's rack. We'll be able to butcher that meat and get that processed. So we're going to go butcher everything and we want to do a full butchery of it. And we're going to get as much... <coughs> pardon me, as much as we can out of this. Okay. So it should be a reasonable supply of meat from that. Um, oh, we can push you out the way. Push Terry the turkey. I pushed you out the way, Terry. Um, oh. Actually, surprisingly, a very small amount. Um, I was really hoping for more out of that from a giant rattlesnake. But uh, hey, what can you do? What can you do? It's probably going to be worth us just actually cooking that meat um, as is. Uh, we've got 16 here, though. Surprisingly. Okay. More than I thought. We are very hungry, though, and our power is a little bit low, so we could do something about that. Heading over to food, we want to go to the scraps of meat now. Go get those made as well. Fantastic. Okay, we'll start off just by finishing those scraps off. Just so they're out of our inventory. Then going straight to all that meat. Yes, and we'll go ahead and drink some of that nice, nice water. We're still tired, so it probably would be worth us having a bit of a sleep now at this stage, but at the same time, I'm excited about us getting some construction done. No. We'll be responsible. We'll jump in here with all the others. We'll get rid of this bird litter again, which does seem to stock up quite frequently. We're just going to go ahead and dump that out here for now. Sorry, Charlie, didn't mean to cover you in it. Okay. Let's go have ourselves a little bit of a rest. We're going to go ahead and take the uh, rucksack off and we're going to go take the uh, mask off as well. Just so it's a little bit more comfortable when it comes to sleeping. Drop that on the ground. That's fine. We'll pick up everything when we wake up. We're not going to set an alarm, but we are going to have ourselves a nice sleep here. Hopefully getting rid of tired so that we'll be all nice and fresh and ready to go. Because it's very easy to keep on pushing yourself once you get into the dead tired side of things. You'll pretty much constantly be in a state of being tired when you wake up. Great simulation of real life there. This is a very chill piece of music for our man Bran. <laughs> I don't see how this is scary or has anything to do with fear, but you know what? It, it works for now. For our casual times about the lab. And we could probably do with waking up soon. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. That's great. All the aches are fading. Good. We'll go ahead and have a multivitamin. And we'll have some nice water to start the day off. It's going to spoil in 20 hours, so we'll, we'll do, you know, we'll try and make the most of it. Um, I need you guys to get out the way. Thanks, team. We've got the survivor mask. Great. Let's go ahead and wear the rucksack and the survivor mask. Okay, actually, you know what? We probably don't need to have the survivor mask on while we're down here, so just give us a little bit more visibility. Um, right, so we're going to be getting to work. Let's keep a hold of our cart for now because it's still very, very useful for transferring a whole heap of this stuff. Um, so it looks like most of the vehicle parts are being kept here for some bizarre reason. Yes, 
Yes, they are. So we've got all the casters. Um, we've got the bike baskets there as well. Extra light frames. We're going to go ahead and take a whole heap of those. Uh, we've got a motorbike alternator and motorbike uh, battery. Both of them are nice and small, so let's make use of those. And you know what? I think getting a wire basket on there as well could be worth it. Uh, do we want to get a wire basket or a bike basket? I think a bike basket might be better. The the volume that it probably has isn't as good, but it'll still be it'll be worthy. At least we've got to hope so. The, so the idea is going to be that it's going to be powered by a small electric engine, and we'll be able to supplement that by pedaling as well. Yeah, that's that's the that's the idea. We'll see if we can get that to work or not. Uh, did I actually transfer those items? I did. Fantastic. So, let's get moving. Um, are we going to let the birds follow? No, because they're going to create trouble for us. So, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to push you back inside there, buddy. And I do like that we can actually... Oh, we can push, but yeah, you're going to be in the way there, bud. Um, can I push you back into Charlie? No, I can't. All right, well, we're going to have to do it this way, aren't we? We're going to have to run inside, play tag with them, essentially. Be like, come on. There we go. And now we run outside. Oh, god damn it. Why are you so fast? Why is our run speed so slow, rather, I should say? 84? Okay, that's good. It's when you change direction. I don't know if that was always a thing. But it's great, because, like, as long as we're running in one direction, we're looking pretty good in terms of our speed. Nice. Okay, moving on. Moving this way. Um, hmm. It's, it's a little bit of a pain. Because it is on the next level. So we're going to have to fold and we have to try and grab all these items again. Um, it's, not, it's not too much of a hassle for us. Because it is just up here, which is, you know, okay. Let's go ahead and drop all of you guys in there. Heading back downstairs, we're going to go grab the extra light frames. And we can just hold on to those, that's fine. Grab you, and we're going to get moving. So, theoretically, I can remember the way there. Okay, should be through here, up here, up through there, straight ahead. Yes, I remembered, fantastic. Let's see if we can track this bad boy down. There it is, the underbike. Well... <laughs> It's it's a it's not a great bike. I will be honest. It's a it, it was a terrible design. Um, it's got the parts there that we need to make it work. We're gonna have to go ahead and remove a whole heap of these though. Uh, pretty much everything because the frames aren't right. So it's going to be a process of removing all of these bit by bit. Um, strength of sixteen or a tool of one jacking. Okay, that's fine because we can get jacked. That's no issue. So let's go ahead and get jacked. We're going to go turn on our sweet, sweet muscles that we have. Our hydraulic muscles, pumping our strength up to 31. Examine that vehicle again, and let's go ahead and remove this wheel, because we can. Fantastic. Okay, power's nearly gone. Let's go turn those hydraulic muscles off, because that took quite a while. Um, we've got quite a bit of meat still, so let's make use of that. Metabolic interchange, start doing your thing. Okay, meanwhile, we're going to go ahead and remove more of these things. That's the strength of one, that's fine. Go do the dashboard, the controls. We're very hungry, let's go eat something. Nom 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 nom. Okay, headlight, and then finally the frame. Okay, so we're going to have to do this essentially for the whole thing. So we are going to be taking it pretty much entirely apart. Because I was very clever, and I made this entirely out of, um, have to remove attached part first. Okay, the saddle, I'm guessing, or the alternator. Who knows? It's something. We're up to 5k power. That's really good. Just keep eating a little bit more meat. Just do one more lot of that, I'd have to say. Okay. Bicycle wheel, cargo space, and... Well, we've only got the frame left at this stage. So we're going to go ahead and install an extra light frame. And this one is just going to be going straight. Uh, we'll use the one nearby. And then this one here, we want to go ahead and remove it. Swapping it out instead for an extra light frame. So same deal there as well. And we're going to go ahead and turn off our metabolic interchange. 
like so. Go ahead and have a little bit more to eat and something to drink. Perfect. Okay, so we have the start of our vehicle. Let's go ahead and repair this thing while we're here. Use a little bit of our power to do so. Okay, so up here we have a motorbike battery. It's not a massive battery. We don't need it to be a massive battery. Um, so let's just have a look at that weight-wise as well. Because weight is going to be very, very important. So I probably should have checked that out before I put it on. Because uh, the small storage battery is 2.5 kilograms. Whereas the motorcycle battery should be a little bit less. Let's see if I can actually see that on here. If I go remove and just have a quick look at it. Is it going to tell me how much it is? No, it's only going to take two minutes for me to remove it though. Okay. Fine. Let's have a let's have a proper look. Motorbike battery is four kgs. Okay, so it is a fair bit more. Um, battery capacity is five hundred, whereas the small storage battery, battery capacity five hundred, and it's a lot less. Okay. I guess my question is, will the alternator work with the small storage battery? Difficult to know for certain. I'm gonna go ahead and install it, and kind of hope for the best on that one. So this one here, we want to have the dashboard there. We want to have controls there. Controls are 6 kgs just by themselves. Is there no... Hmm. This, see, the small electric motor is uh, a bit in, in and of itself. The, the extra light frames should help with this. Honestly, this design may not work. It just, it might not work. Um, but we're going to try. We're going to try it out. Uh, so here we want to go ahead and install controls as well and then back here is going to be the saddle okay looking a little bit more like a bike at this stage we're going to go ahead and install a bicycle wheel steerable on the front and on the rear it is just going to be a regular bicycle wheel okay looking a little bit more like a, like the top speed's good top speed's like 115 it's it's great <laughs> but we've got to charge this thing first. Uh, does any of it need to be repaired? Yeah, the wheel does. Okay, so it's got controls. It's got the wheel. Do I want to install on the front? We're going to install a cargo space on the front. Let's not install a cargo space. It's 80 kgs. <laughs> um, I wouldn't mind having a headlight on this thing. We'll go ahead and put it on. We're going to choose the direction in which we want it to go. Press space to continue. Let's get it firing off in that direction. We're going to go ahead and we cannot repair you apparently. Cool, because we need to have duct tape to be able to do that. Right, so at this stage the, the vehicle doesn't have anything extra on it. But theoretically as we pedal it we should charge the battery. That's the, uh, the idea here. Okay, alright, let's go ahead and install foot pedals. Okay, will this thing work? Let's find out. We start, we take control, it's too heavy for its engine, that's fine, let's see. We can ride it around perfectly fine, like with such ease. This thing's amazing, it's not colliding with things. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's not colliding with things, it is colliding with things, that's fine. I haven't put an alternator on this yet, I think. So we won't see the battery going up at this stage, but uh, yeah, it can move along the tracks perfectly fine, which I'm happy about. Let's go. Yeah, it's it's actually a little hard to maneuver, <laughs> being honest. It doesn't turn super sharply. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and stop driving. Check this thing out. Yeah, okay, so... Uh, did I do any damage there? No, we didn't do any damage. Okay, uh, so let's see. We want to go ahead and install an alternator, motorbike alternator. Uh, see if that will work. It might, it might not. We might need to have the motorcycle engine there for that to, or rather the motorcycle battery for it to, to work. We'll see, we'll see. But we'll go ahead and start pedaling. We're pedaling, we're pedaling, we're pedaling. Go ahead, just ride around here for a little bit. Start turning around. Don't hit the rock pillar. Um, so there is a good chance that I'm going to want to put another extra light frame on this and have a box on the back just so it has some carrying capacity. But so far we have a bike that we can ride that isn't taking up too much stamina when we do. 
let's have a look examine the vehicle and look at that we have charge so we are charging it while we're riding which is great uh, it's going to need a little bit more electricity before it kind of gets going but what we're going to be able to do is essentially alternate between riding and having the electric engine power it it'd be a good getaway vehicle um okay all right in an ideal world like it would just kind of supplement our pedaling yeah uh all right anyway we are going to examine the vehicle we're going to go here we're going to install a uh extra light frame this one's just going to sit on the back we're going to remove the wheel from this one here and okay we have the strength to be able to do that that's great we're going to install the bicycle wheel on the back there okay very hungry and thirsty let's do something about that and drink great examine the vehicle okay so we can repair that make it nice and new and then installing on the back we have options we don't want to install a cargo space on there we've got lots of wire baskets and i'm a little bit surprised that we can't install those on here unless i just forgot to grab them which is entirely possible now the mot motorbike alternator is still hanging out on the side there but we've installed the motorbike alternator in here already that's fine it still seems to be working out so we can see that the top speed has dropped down a little bit that's fine we're never going to want to go 80 in these tunnels anyway uh so we're going to go leave this behind just for a second we're going to have some clean water and i'm going to go see if i can track down uh some wire baskets for us because uh i think a wire basket is going to be more our speed it's either that or a bike basket i'll have a look at the weight of the two and we can we can see which is going to be better for us so they should be just stashed away in here down the bottom we've got a wire basket so we'll take that wire basket and we'll also take the bike basket as well okay so can we see what their actual we can't see what the carrying volume will be we will be able to when we actually have a good look at it start running you guys come on i have to do this game again even then sometimes i'm not fast enough Onwards we go, and back down. Uh, rather, back up. And around. But now we've got ourselves an actual working bike. It definitely was not in operation before, but now we have something that uh, kind of works. Kind of, kind of. We're getting there with it. Okay, so let's have a look. Wire bike basket. Uh, has a weight of 1.2 and it has a capacity of 20 which you know that's pretty decent um shopping cart basket is a lot more a lot more and the weight isn't crazy let's install it and see if that knocks our top speed down it doesn't very nice very very nice now obviously the more weight we have on this thing the more difficult it will be to ride um but i mean i i've got high hopes for this thing this could take us uh, a decent way. Um, now, unfortunately, we didn't install the motorbike battery that... Well, actually, no, we installed the storage battery. And the thing is, the storage battery capacity is pretty damn good. Um, so, obviously, two different things here. Fuel is muscle and battery. Whether or not we can operate both at the same time, I'm not sure. What we're going to do for now, though, is we are going to control the vehicle. Let's see if we can turn on the engine one of the underbikes engines start out the underbikes mechanism is out of reach interesting okay we take control of the underbike okay let's see if we can start riding this thing heading up this way now we should be using a bit of stamina but we should also theoretically be using the engine as well 12 percent battery look at that it's already going up okay okay let's go ahead and turn on the light if we can examine vehicle no we want to go ahead and control vehicle and we want to let go controls disable cruise control no we want to turn on the light um hmm cannot do that while driving interesting uh let's just let's stop then so we'll lower lower that down for us just a moment 
I'm gonna stop driving and I'm just gonna have a look here to see. Control multiple electronics. Okay, so I couldn't do that while I was driving. The headlights are turned on, okay. Let's go ahead, we're gonna take control of it again. Examine it, 12% battery, okay. Let's go ahead and start riding this thing. We have a headlight that stretches well in front of us. Let's go ahead and pump up the speed here. We're at 25 now, we hear hmm. So the engine is working. We're at 12% battery. Let's just keep on flying along this thing. Sewer snake, watch out. 9%, um, yeah, so it is going down. Let's go ahead, drop it down to 12 kilometers and just see how we're doing. So obviously the, okay, now it's going back up. So 12 kilometers is a good speed for us where we seem to generate more power than we're actually using. At least that's what it's looking like at this stage. Yep, 17%, so maybe we can take it up above 12. Okay, well, let's let's just follow the follow the way. Uh, let's go up to 19. Okay, so we're hearing the engine going at that point there. All right, 20. Which is uh, a little on the fast side. Yep, we're still going up, so we can go up to 19, and we are still at a positive power. The spike is good. The spike is good. It's working for us. Now, I guess extra light frame, how are you gonna handle collisions? Because we don't have any kind of safety belts in this thing. As we just fly through pretty good speeds along here. We've seen a chud, okay. Let's keep flying along a little bit further, a little bit faster. A little bit more risk. Okay. We can see a gap in that subway there. And I think this is going to be the end of the line up here. Yeah, it is. So let's go ahead and slow down. I don't know whether or not I'm going to be able to take this thing through the gap up. That's just coming up here. Shall we try? Yeah, what the hell, why not? Let's try. Okay, so yeah, we have to remember that not too good at corners. Okay, so if we're gonna do this thing, we need to be right on the correct angle, which we are not right now. Okay, so let's go back up. Uh, we wanna back up this way. One, and start going forwards, start turning. Okay, now we're on the right angle. Oh, yep, I should have uh, realized that we were not gonna be able to fit that through there. We can fit the front of the mic, we cannot fit the rear of it through there. Uh, Oh no, that's southeast and above. No, we can we can totally fit through the gap. <laughs> I'll be damned. I'll be damned. 39% power. Look at us go. The underbike is working. This is a success. I am really impressed with this thing. You know what? I was going to be ending the episode, but I'm tempted to see how far we can take this thing in today's episode. That's a lot of, that's a lot of noise. Okay, turn this thing around. We're gonna have to back up. Back up this way. Okay, that's the angle that we want, I believe. Uh, no, it's one off, okay. So, back down one square. Okay. All right, let's go for that angle. Ooh. Uh, nope, not gonna work. Let's see if we can straighten up in time. We are not gonna be able to straighten up in time. Okay, so it's a bit of a fine art to get through these gaps. It's not something that you wanna do in a hurry. I can tell you that much. Okay, I think we're actually in line now. No, we're not. We need to go up one more square, come back down really quick. Straighten up. Just like so. Straight through the gap, we see a chud. Rocking about in the distance there, and we are going to start rocketing down here at speed. Knock it up further. I can see that the speed's starting to drop down quite a bit there. Once we we're at uh, at 20, 20 seems to be the limit. That's fine. Let's go ahead and investigate the battery. It's still at 31. That's great. Just keep on rolling. Now the estimation is giving us one minute until empty. Okay, all right. Just having a look at the power still, it is above empty at this stage. 
Driving skill is increased to four as well. Magnificent. All right, take it in for the corners. And then uh, start speeding on up again. Oh, what in the hell is that? A cyclopean. A relatively humanoid mutant with purple hair and a grapefruit-sized bloodshot eye. Well, I did say that I was going to try and see how far in these tunnels we could get, but I think seeing a cyclopean wandering around here in the darkness is a good enough spot as any to stop. A strange creature, seemingly human, but misshapen, adapted, changed. A living creature that perhaps is some form of intelligence. It seems to be holding a weapon. This is the first sign of something close to an NPC, someone living, that Bran has seen. So perhaps it's a sign of more. But we'll find out that in the next. Thank you all for joining me. I've been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.